Hello! Uh, as, as promised, I'm coming out with the Venus videos and I'm sorry about the lighting, it's dark in here so I'm doing the best with what I have but I wanted to follow through on my promise. So, what does it mean when you have Venus in Leo? Uh, I'm sorry, my mistake Virgo. Virgo, I just did Leo. Um, what does it mean? Well, if you're a man and wherever your Venus is shows the type of woman you're attracted to. If you're a woman, your Venus shows you how you flirt. So, what does this mean? Venus and Virgo for a guy. This guy can have the unthinkable checklist when it comes to what he's looking for in a partner. You know, you really want somebody who's got their stuff together. They dot their T's and cross their eyes. Well, dot their eyes, cross their T's. Sorry. I have a Virgo ascendant. I got that messed up. Um, but yeah, you know, you want someone who shows that they got it together. They're organized, um, efficient type of people. Um, you want someone who you know, has their head on straight, you know, um, I want to say organization is big, and, you know, not just that, but a guy with his Venus in Virgo, you could have this, you know, Virgo is a, is a sign that's very analytical, and it could show that you're kind of analytical when it comes to love, you know, so you could say, all right, well, you know, I really... He could be the type of guy that, you know, he has this list of the, w the woman he wants. And if you don't really meet everything on that list, you know, he may, bye-bye, next, you know. Um, until he gets older and he probably realizes that, okay, I not everybody's going to be perfect. I really have to think about um, my checklist and maybe revamp it because, you know, unrealistic expectations. They could have unrealistic expectations, okay? So if you're a woman and you like this guy and he has Venus and Virgo, show that you're organized. Oh, they love tidiness too. They like women who are very tidy. They take pride in their appearance. And the woman might be kind of conservative in the way that she dresses, but she would be um, really take pride in her the way she handles her home. And she would be very organized. She would not be a clutter freak in her house. Um, she would take pride in her physical appearance. Um, they, they want someone who's polished, you know, tidy, polished, and organized is the big thing, you know. Um, somebody who has it together, you know, that's what they're looking for. And, but, you know, he himself, you know, so if you're looking, if you're, if you're a woman and you have your Venus in Virgo, th th these type of women you know, there's a few things that can go on, okay? Um, Venus, don't forget, is how you flirt, right? And Virgo is analytical, and they, you know, they, they strive for perfection, you know? Well, if you have your Venus in Virgo, you could go overboard to try to get a partner, you know? Like, the way you flirt would be, I'm going to do this for him, and I'm going to do, I'm going to make it all perfect. I'm going to do that for him, and I'm going to be very, very, um... I'm going to go out of my way to um, make, you know, make everything wonderful. And sometimes these women really have to watch it because, you know, guys can sometimes take their kindness for weakness. Like, well, this lady will do anything for me, you know. Like, um, I don't want to say their self-esteems are bad. No, it's just because they strive for protect, per, per, perfection in, when, in themselves when it comes to love. So, like, I'm going to try this and make and do it better for him. I'm going to go out of my way to make this beautiful for him. Um, you know, they will really try in the relationship to please you, you know. Um, so I want to say these people are very giving, loving, go out of their way, you know. Um, and what else, you know. I want to say, you know, even giving in the, in the physical manner, you know. Um, they may go out of their way to, to be, you know, more physical with you, you know, um, I read somewhere, and again, I don't know, because I haven't really done, you know, um, charts on, you know, prostitutes or anything, but they say that women who have Venus in Virgo tend to, because they're overcompensating, and they're trying to be perfect and show their, their love, they give the love away too easily, and that's how they get taken advantage of, but not, I don't want to, Nasty messages, not everybody with Venus and Virgo is a prostitute, you know, not every female. But I want to say that, you know, 
And if you're a guy and your girl has Venus in Virgo, don't think bad things because, you know, honestly, she's probably a very loving and giving woman. She will go out of her way to help you, um, please you, make things perfect. But one thing, they can be very hard on themselves when it comes to love because they, they so want to make everything so, just so for you. You know, and that's how they flirt. They flirt because it's like, I want it, I want him to love this and I want him to appreciate me. And I want him to see that I really tried to make everything perfect for him. So that can be a little bit of a drawback for the Virgo woman because they are so good and they are so giving. Um, but sometimes they give too much of themselves and they can get taken advantage of. Now, again, back to the men. If your um, Venus is in a Virgo, the only drawback is, you know, you could be, you know, you could be a great guy and have these standards. And the reason that you have these standards with the woman that you're looking for is because you have very high standards when it comes to love. You know, you want somebody who's coming to the table with what you feel you're offering. And there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of them tend to have the unthinkable checklist, like nobody is ever going to, you know, match this list. So, um, you know, if you have this, you know, take a closer look. And I hope this gave you some explanation. And I hope maybe this opened you up to see me. Wow, I, I kind of do do that. You know, I, I'm going to have to kind of change that a little bit, you know, or, or maybe work on something. You know, these videos are hopefully to inform you and help you. So maybe if you know that you do this, um, you can really find happiness and love and, and things can really work for you if you say, oh, I know I'm doing it again. I'm being overly critical. I exonate her because, you know, um, her her second toe was bigger than her first toe or whatever, <laughs> whatever it was. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. But you know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you like the video. Um, if you would like to see more videos, please um, let me know. Hit like or unlike or comment below. Um, if, you, if you want to take a class, um, I have a basic class that's coming up, so click the link on that. And I have an aspects class that, that's the next step after basics. Click the link below that um, if you would like to take that class. And just so you know... Um, Virgo people, I mean, I'm not talking about Venus and Virgo, but Virgo people in general are really pretty, they're really good with details, and they're very good with um, anal analyzing things. So astrology and learning astrology and studying could really be your thing. So, um, you know, Virgos are very meticulous, analytical, and they strive for perfection. So a lot of people who are Virgo are really good at studying, and they will you know, learn, try to learn all they can, you know, and usually they love subjects like forensics or investigations or, you know, astrology is another one. So anyway, that's if you have a Virgo sun, but this is about Venus and Virgo. So it's a little different. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you would like to ha have more videos, let me know. And as always, I hope you liked it again and uh, have a good day. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye, Virgo.